السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سعید علی مردان عظمی ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس ایکسرسائز 15.2 کوشچن نمبر 48 فرام تھامس کیلکولس 12th ایڈیشن بک دا اسٹیٹمنٹ اف پرابلم از اسکیچ دا ریجن اف انٹیگریشن ریورس دی آرڈر اف انٹیگریشن اینڈ ایوالویٹ دا انٹیگرل ان دس کوشچن وی ہیو ٹو پرفارم تھری ایکٹیویٹیز فرسٹ وی ول اسکیچ دا ریجن اف انٹیگریشن ان دا سیکنڈ پارٹ وی ول ریورس دی آرڈر اف انٹیگریشن ریورسل اف آرڈر اف انٹیگریشن مینز we will interchange our inner and outer variable in this question our inner variable is y and outer variable is x so we will interchange them and we will make x as our inner variable and y our outer variable in order to perform this activity first of all we have to sketch the region of integration in order to sketch the region of integration we need some boundaries these boundaries are obtained from the limiting values of the variable the limits of x are 0 to 2 so x equal to 0 x equal to 2 will provide you two boundaries of the region y equal to x and y equal to 2 will provide you other two boundaries as the limits of y are y equal to x and y equal to 2 now x equal to 0 is equation of y axis x equal to 2 is equation of vertical line which passes to the point x equal to 2 along x axis y equal to x is equation of line which passes the points having the same value of x and y coordinate like 0 0 1 1 2 and y equal to 2 is equation of a horizontal line which passes the point y equal to 2 along y axis in the next step we will sketch the region of integration in order to do so first of all i have sketched x axis and y axis with the help of dotted lines i am using dotted lines because if x is not involved in your region of integration they will not get you confused about the closed region what happened sometimes if you make x axis and y axis with dark lines you get confused with the boundary region which region is your required boundary region so best practice is either you can make dotted lines or you can use lead pencils to make the initial x axis and y axis and then if these axes are involved in your limits you can dot them just like this x equal to 0 is equation of y axis so i am i what i have done i have bolded it after this i will mark the points 2 and 2 along x axis and y axis because i have to sketch the line x equal to 2 and y equal to 2 so x equal to 2 is an equation of vertical line y equal to 2 is equation of horizontal line their point of intersection will be 2 2 as at x equal to 2 y is 2 so this point is 2 2 for third line y equal to x for third line y equal to x i have joined the origin means 0 0 and point 2 2 and extend it so this is the equation of y equal to x in the next step we highlight our region of integration please note that before highlighting this x axis is dotted so we can clearly see that this upper triangular this triangular region is our closed region now after the sketching we have to perform the second step we have to reverse the order of integration what is the reversal of order of integration means we will interchange our inner and outer variable so we have written this integral as dx dy with the same integrand now please remember that limits of inner variable may be constant may be variable but limits of outer variable are always constant so we cannot interchange the limits just like we interchange our variables because if we change the limits our outer limits become variable so in order to calculate the limits of inner variable we will use arrow technique for limits of x we will pass an arrow from left to right through this region this arrows this arrows enters our boundaries at x equal to 0 and exit the boundary at y equal to x or x equal to y so the limits of x are 0 to y because at this boundary value of x is 0 and along this boundary the value of x is y for limits of outer variable we will check the range of variable along that particular along that particular axis so along y axis we have the range 0 to 2 so limits of y are 0 to 2 after the limits we will evaluate it 
After the limits, we will evaluate it. In order to evaluate it, we will separate inner integral from the outer integral. Because in double integrals, we always solve inner integral first and then on the results of inner integral, we will apply outer integral. Please note that in order to integrate 2y square sine of xy dx with respect to x, y is constant. So we can take this 2y outside. In order to integrate sine of xy, we need the derivative of angle as a multiplier inside the integration. So we have separated this y square as y into y. I have taken one y outside of the inner integral and I have used one y here as derivative of the angle. I have changed its color so that you are focused it. In the next step, we will integrate it. Integration of sine of xy into y with respect to x will be minus cos of x. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus to calculate the limits. We will replace x with y. So we get cos of y square minus cos of 0. I have taken this minus sign outside for the simplification. Now cos of 0 is 1. So we have limit from 0 to 2 minus 2y cos of y square minus 1. In the next step, we will separate the integral on each term. So we have 2y dy limit from 0 to 2 dy minus limit from 0 to 2 cos of y square into 2y. In the first part, we will integrate it as 2y square over 2. And in the second part, cos of, cos of y square have its derivative. Cos of y square have the derivative of the angle as 2y. So we can integrate them as 2y square over 2 limit from 0 to 2. And integration of cos of y square into 2y with respect to y will be sine of y square limit from 0 to 2. In the next step, we will apply limits with the help of fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit on each term. And then after simplification, we will get our results. Thank you for watching.